clothes and dreams go free Got an angel next to me Hold me close so I can breathe Namaste and like catch my family what is going on on planet earth i have a very special interview a very amazing interview today with mr russell j chief there's a there's a hyphen there's hyphens why don't you give the world the proper i'm like there's a hyphen you know what i mean like i, I educate me tell me okay well we, i use hieroglyphics within my name to create compound facts yes so i i start my name out with a colon which locks in the the position of Russell hyphen J colon dual. So I, I'm making it a compound fact with a colon after my middle name, making my, 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 my surname stand out as an independent fact. So I'm, I'm fact, fact, fact. And the reason why I do that, Rion, is if you look on your clock on your computer screen right there, mm -hmm. it'll say uh, 1125, colon 25. But if you were to plot those colons out it would say 1125 or 1125 or mm -hmm. you create subjective interpretation you know what does subjective interpretation mean to you do you have any what is what subjective interpretation is only a colorful opinion about right. Right. what these words could mean so so i use in between my noun and my name because a noun is a or a fact is a person place thing in concept so i use hyphen so i say colon russell hyphen j colon gold I'm making it a compound fact, so other people are mainly for a corporate structure or contracting structure being a, a judicial system, they can't now identify Russell as an adjective, they have to identify it as a fact. Therefore, right. I, take out, I take out their ability or capacity to create subjective interpretations about who I am, the reflection of the spirit vessel when that's been contracted into this KPS vessel. So, I got this. You, you want your real name? The, the the only the one and only true fact checker on planet Earth, Chief. You you are the OG real fact checker. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah that sounds. That's you're, you're, number, you're number one. That's, you're number one. Sin, yeah. sin, dude, syntax, agreements, contracts. You're like, yeah, you're gonna have to run that by Russell, Chief Russell. He's the number one fact checker on planet Earth. So that's why. Well, Yes. Well, you know, it is, it is fire. You know, Leon, I did something that was so, such a unique situation when I was covering up, figuring out this grammar scenario and the math interface and, and all the things. You know, I had a partner at the time and he kind of got backdropped by his own performances, right? It happens in life. Let, let's say, kind of, it's called hashtag weak sauce. And look, it happens sometimes. You know, you sometimes to, you don't have the sauce. You have the sauce. Hey, you, you gotta hey, have. You got. You got the. You gotta have the sauce. Okay. No, okay I, go I, ahead. I, I'm full of sauce, and I, I can sauce it up. You can, sauce. I mean, listen. Let's go. Count it up. You can count yeah. it up. But anyway, so I figured out this. Uh, this this grammar you know what what's the meaning of these words and you know we know that we're celestial beings and we tra we've traveled and we we're here for for a long long time and we're here forever but we come into this corporate world and they they track us into this birth yeah. certificate system and, and and they give us a name there and then when they give us the name they create all these paradoxes that create all kinds of channels where other people now start taking control of us and, mm. and try to take away of our sovereign thinking because, you know, we are celestial beings in this trap, yes. in the spirit, trapped in this carnal 3D dimension. And so how I had to look at it is how did that come about? And and then it took me down many roads and, and different things. And, you know, I, yeah, I, I am the guy that created the Postal Corporation and the now space, you know. Yeah. I'm the guy that brought the now space to my partner at the time, David Eiffel and Colin Miller. You know, he, he was using prepositional phrase language, but he was not in a now space scenario. And everything performs now. And so we're... we're it's, look, it's look, all jokes aside, look, your ex-homie, I'm sure he's fine. He did a good yeah. job. But, but let's be honest. Everyone plays a role on this planet. And everyone makes decisions based on a premise of what they feel their potential reality can be in the now space. So, you know, I've run into that quite a bit myself, you know, 
you know, brothers like me and you and our sisters across the planet that really literally are like galactic emissaries pretending every day. I've been in Groundhog Day for 13 years. Da, 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 da. I guess I'll make some coffee. You know, I, I'm multiplexing three or four different dimensions every day. I'm not dreaming. I'm interacting. You know, this whole super moon that we just had last night. Well, what it do? Bro, I don't even know. It, I mean, I was, they knocked me out two days before that. And, um, you know, to make it relevant for everyone on Earth, I mean, there's some intel coming out that when they were messing with CERN and some weird things, you know, hence why we're recording this on uh, StreamYard. And, uh, you know what I mean? Hey, we're going to talk about some real things right now. But there's a lot of um, holographic things and um, creating distortions. And what we what kind of came out was that between, um, I believe, the end of A uh, February, April, there were six months of data downloaded in two months. So everything was hyper accelerated. That's why our dream time, our energy was off the chain. It's because literally timelines are going like this. And when they touch us and they sync, you're getting six months of data in three weeks this fast. So what happens is it speeds the whole equation up. You know, the issue with that is like, I'm like, you know, hashtag, can you sprinkle a little more golden light and some sprinkles on me? Like, I don't, I don't, how much of this stuff do we got to, bro, how much of this stuff do we actually have to watch? You know what I mean? Like what, you know, like go ahead. And here's the thing. You're going to get us out. You've got the theory, you've got the equation. And I already kind of, they gave me the download this morning on like your real position. Like, I know you got like, I'm the postman. And I was like, wait a minute. Like, who's my brother? Really? You know what I mean? Like the real you, you know what I mean? So go ahead. Tell me a little bit more, bro. I, I, I am someone that is on the quest of being correct and learning about the mm -hmm. perspective of being correct. You're yes. exactly right. Yeah. When you talk about these, these scalar tech timelines, all interweaving in and out of the now space, yep. or what we call zero point, right? And yep. as as it comes into our into that into that bliss position, mm -hmm. it's our capacity to take that and comprehend that, and then use it continually in our corporate structure. Mm -hmm. What I've looked at is the paradox of how this the system they trapped us in, this birth certificate system that they trapped mm -hmm. our spirit into this into this dimensional state. Mm -hmm. how they applied the slave conditions upon us. And so I took it mm -hmm. upon myself to walk through the doors, to unlock the, the hieroglyphics, because it, it, in those scenarios, a lot of it's based upon symbolism, as you know. Yep. And, a lot yep. of it's, and a lot of it's based upon, and that's where communication is also a form of pictograph. Right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's characters, it's symbols, it's an arbitrary form of ciphering to communicate. Well, the quantum math communications gives us a position to place things in neutral or in the now space. Mm -hmm. So now we can crack the harness of this, this dimension that they call time, which is not. Right. right? There's, no, there's no sense. That's what they trap us into. Mm -hmm. And they trap us into this paradox of where we have to think that we're bound to these time parameters mm -hmm. when actually we are actually celestial spirit beings just stuck in somebody else's bad bad function that spell i call it casting a spell they cast a spell on us or otherwise giving us their spelling of words right right upon giving us their casting of their spells upon us they they've tried to yoke our spirit mm -hmm. into believing that there's this false reality of a president or this fake reality of these false wars because people don't know how to communicate People right. don't know how to listen to people's needs, mm -hmm. and so the quantum. So when we harness things in the now space, we, we don't look at the dimension of time because we step beyond that. Now we can study the the performance or the facts and look at facts. Mm -hmm. And we, we use prepositional phrases to make facts. And as we look and we make that fact, now we can look at why the fact was created. Did it help my brother or sister out, or did it create more casualty, more war, more hunger? All these carnal things that they say that we have to be about, without in actuality, you know, I went without food for a long time, but you know, I was very gifted in, 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 in sun gazing, right? I'm very gifted in, in some of those techniques. So when I could see the sun there for just, you know, a few minutes, I could sequester the necessary energy to get through being without their carnal thing, this thing right. called they call it food, right? And so, and so, but but it, it, it was, it, but I knew what I was getting into as yes, I went right. on the journey. 
most people don't comprehend that. Yeah, so, you know, every single prophet, every single, I like to call them spiritual shot callers, OGs, you got Buddha, you got obviously Yeshua, Jesus, everyone, Moses, every spiritual being that has ever taught on this planet that's worth their salt did their 40 days in the desert, seven years in front of the Bodhi tree, right? Everyone has to make this separation from the physical, okay? Yeah. And, and, and listen, we've all done it. I know you had your trials. I've had my trials many, many times. My thing is that every human being needs to be able to understand to have that level of clarity, to actually see yourself as a spirit, a sp eternal spirit inside of a container, inside of your body, experiencing this place. There has to be something in your life in the 3D of experience that creates that for you and makes it real, especially for this chemical computer, to understand the difference. There's people that have never made an, you know, an experience like that in their life. Like, for example, why did J.F. Kennedy, or the original, right? What yeah. happened to him? Well, wasn't he, you know, didn't his plane or his boat go down in the middle of the Atlantic or Pacific? And he floated out there for six or seven days and literally like, you know what I mean? Like he had a moment that changed his life. He made a choice in that moment that was life or death. It's not a casual choice. It's not sending a text message. It's not making a speech. It's just life and death. You being here, what is your purpose and what are you supposed to do? So I'm very happy. I know you went through it. I saw the pictures. Okay, listen. Oh, yeah. I, 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 you went through it. Okay, listen, listen. Yeah. Gold gold cards. I'm, I'm making it rain gold coins on you. You did it. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Yeah. We, we, we've got it. But I hear something I also want to say. When you say real time, the present time, the now time, right? To me, as a fellow Palladian and Syrians, which you know, we both are in the upper levels, what I can say is that a fifth density construct is always going to be in now time, real time. There is no past, present, or future. So if it's funny in the physical, we'll say the now time. But what are you really saying? Now. All your yeah. power is always in the present. Time is an, is an illusion. Everything is happening simultaneously around us at all times. And that's a fifth density or a fifth dimensional construct of understanding what we're actually in. You know what I mean? Yes, and, and the yeah. bad people that have bad volition are actually creating a a shield against us to think that they're now programming the subspace, the particle subspace, to to influence the our consciousness capacity to make choices. And so these are very dangerous people that are. They know exactly what they're doing. Right? Yeah. I've had conversations. I've had conversations with the top people in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and you know. They, they got their little front men, their little Elon Musk, and their little archaic technology that they're... That they're <laughs> DARPA. <laughs> DARPA. Oh, DARPA. DARPA. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, look. You know, I don't know. You know. It is what it is. Hey, what it is. hey listen. I, I think there's two candidates here that could do a better job. I, I don't know who, who they have on the roster for freeing humanity. But listen, let's be completely honest. As far as the civilians... As far as shock callers on planet Earth that actually have their hearts on, work for a source creator, are here to free a planet, right? Are here to raise the frequency of every single being here above and below surface and to free them from eons of slavery that aren't purchased like cheap baubles, that don't have weird agreements, that yeah. change the life of, hey, being humble, doing your work, taking your hits and getting back up. Good luck finding others that can stand up to what this is. And I have to say my kudos to you, bro. Listen, you think there's armies of these people. Nah, bro. The real dudes that came down here, take it on the face and take it on the chin day in, day out. My friends and family watch these videos and your people out there. I need you guys to understand how important and precious you are to the, not only this planet or this solar system or this galaxy, but literally the entire universe is watching us and guiding us for this challenge that we signed up for. So I, I got to keep it in a perspective that's like, hey, dude, you know what I mean? I feel for you specifically and, you know, not only are you kicking ass and taking names. All right? I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a different translator for you. You know what I mean? Like, I would never say that. I, you know, you, yeah, no, no, no. you are definitely you know, a different translator and you're on the side of the people. Yeah. You ultimately 
what I'm doing is is not about Russell hyphen J Cohen Gold. Mm-hmm. It, it's a, it's about something that gives, and then I I've learned that the more I give, the more I get back. Karma yes. is, an, is a wonderful thing in the now space when used correct. Yeah, but it can but it can also be a, a real bugger if if you are a thief. If you're yep. someone that is not of, of correctness, don't have a, the heart, haven't been through the test, and, and are looking people in the eye and lying to them, saying that you have you created something or you've done something, mm-hmm. that's just not the fact, right? And, right. And, and, as, and as we look at that, there's other dimensional spaces that know the truth and they want correctness. But it's not about what I want. It's about what my heart knows to be the correct thing to do. It has nothing right. to do. Right. I'm led by my heart yes. because my heart and my my gut, my intuition makes choices based upon experiences, based upon knowledge, mm-hmm. and then I want to make sure that that choice benefits my friends. Yep. I got a lot of friends. I got a lot of friends out there. Dude. I got a lot of friends. Hey, and I, hey, hey! And I got a, I got a lot of enemies. Right? I got no, enemies. It, it, listen, but listen, listen. listen. Yeah. The deal is that. If you're, if we incarnated to assist a planet and to guide them in a way, away from those aspects, energies, and different species, to be honest with you, right? This, okay, listen, a lot of these guys that are in these groups have no idea at the very tippity top of that group, they're not even human given orders. And a lot of these guys actually knew the truth, which some of us do about what the ordinance is and how this planet's been hoodwinked and what our true history is, they would probably resist as well. You know what I mean? So the thing is that we are here, look, me and you are monitored dudes. My thing is that 24 seven, 365, we're held in integrity. 24 seven, 365, we're here to free this planet. And 24 7 365 as soon as we're done with this missions which which we have never failed on any place we've ever come ever you know we're i'm, an actual, I'm an actual damn performer bro bro it's hey, an listen. actual thing it's Look, an actual thing hey bro. if people would just show up to locations that i've been bro if the, if the federal governments and the banking systems of the world and the militaries of the world ever turn on the videos you'll see that russell nice little humble russell was not very nice to the people that I was dealing with at those locations. Yeah. You know, and I had to be that way because they were after me. I figured out that the post office was the central control to authorize the corporate structures of government. In our day-to-day lives, when we would file for an LLC, we would file with the Secretary of State, whatever state we were in. However, what the state was not telling you is that they were taking the fees that you paid them and then they were paying a usury fee to the post office for that entity to exist. However, we caught the post office in a bankruptcy condition where the post office lost its capacities because it ceased to exist. Those that are in bankruptcy do not have any contract rights. As we were learning about the construct of contract, It came down to the foundation of the flag because the bearer and the owner of the flag also allows subcontractors or what they would call federal contractors to board the terms of that flag. But the flag of our country was wrapped up in a bankruptcy and the bankruptcy ended in 1999. So what David and I did is we had filed for copyrights on that flag on the terms of the grammar. So now that if a federal contractor does come in, they would have to comply with the terms of the syntax to create a now space performance for the terms of the contract. Bro, we're reflections. Yeah. You show me you show me shade, you're gonna get shade. You show me peace and respect, I shall show you peace and respect. But don't act, you know, that's where a lot of light workers and healers get taken advantage of because their hearts are on and they're dealing with beings that their hearts are completely disconnected. They're completely mind orientated, so they don't see how their actions affect others. And I'm going to go right into these questions right now, but this is something you know I wanted to share with you is that when I when I asked my highest light, and I was like, oh, I was doing all these activations, power levels were growing, we're clearing up all this old stuff and these old timelines, and I'm sitting down here like a galactic, you know, plumber, right, cleaning up shit from two, three thousand years ago. No one's touched these cables or bandwidths in so long. And I'm like, why am I down here? And, you know, 
my highest said something real simple. He goes, son, a true creator being must feel what their creation is, goes through, exists, feels, loves to truly be a creator being. You not only get to create something, but you literally have to almost walk a mile in their shoes, see what their struggles are, see what they, they go through. How can you help them? How can you assist them? And literally, it's the most simple thing in the world. I'll take this all the way up any human being or whatever species on this planet's totem pole. You will never be a true creator being if you do not feel how your creations, right, interact and from your heart guide them into that place. Those that just create mindlessly will never be true creator beings. That's why they're kept in these lower heavens, locked downstairs. Why do you think they're here in the first place, right? So what I'm getting to it. You know, it's just about, hey, listen, like, I love you. I want to reach through the screen and give you a hug. Like, I want to shake you. I like, I'm, I want, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, where have you been? First of all, where have you been? Like, I, I don't know. I try to get a hold of you. You're, you're like out in the midst of Avalon. I know you're doing big things. There's some guys showing up trying to, you know, hey, I'll help you. Hey, you, you know, I, I, I'm watching. We're all watching. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But yeah, you're in, but you have your heart on, bro. Hey, I, we all see you, dude. And listen, don't, you know, all that stuff that was, you know, obviously look at me, <laughs> my old videos are like, we got to get them all. Like I was like commander, like kick ass, right? As my heart turned on later, I realized just like you realize now, why when you're going through different modes in life and when, when we were at war, hey, listen, this was a serious situation. They didn't want the people of this planet waking up. They were doing everything in there, throwing the kitchen sink out, spending trillions of dollars on brainwashing right? Poisoning, whatever it was that we were leading hey. against like an empire of jackasses. You know hey, what I mean? Tell you what, I, they, the federal government spent $36 million a year since the year 2000 to yeah. get involved in every transaction that I was involved in. So I, I went through the metals cut because I'm, I'm big in chemistry, right? Mm -hmm. So I have my metallurgy going on. I have my model Thomas, you know, I have a mm -hmm. whole plethora of things that I'm conveying you know, on a quantum scale, a quantum scale, to bring down to the quantum of the now space. Mm. And as we look, as I look back at like the Jesuit order or Opus yeah, Dei yeah. or all these little fake ass groups that have infiltrated <laughs> my world, right? It's just like, oh, that's like, that's what they were talking about. You know, because mm. hindsight's, you know, when I did this and I took over planet Earth, you know, I was 23 years old. I was, young, I was a young man. Yeah, we were a fire starter. Hey, listen, like that's oh. a hard. That's like winning, dude. That's like winning the Super Bowl or like uh, the Oscar at twenty three, and you're like, now what do I do? You know? What oh, I mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and so I I had to go through my pitfalls of the things that I didn't know to become a stronger vessel out here. You stronger. will be tested. Absolutely. And and so I, and I see a lot of you know right now it's pretty interesting the dichotomy because we're seeing an actual rampant space of mm. the biggest lying faction that we've ever had in our now space mm. where they're allowing mankind to somehow hold on to this residual imagery of these lies. Mm. But as we break through that and we are, and we are piercing through that, as we do that, we change the how people communicate together, how mm. you can just, I'm seeing on my end because I'm really reaching now with workshops and stuff. Mm. I'm seeing people gathering all yeah. the high energy things. Yep. I go to work. This is true. I go to a workshop, and when I get done at the location, the management of the hotels or wherever we're at, the convention centers, they come out and say, "Your group, hands down, was the most well mannered, most happy, honest group of people that we've mm -hmm. ever seen coming through here." Yep. Could you ever come back? Do you need references? Your your people are awesome. They're so kind. They're so happy. What are you doing? What are you teaching? And then they check out the, the last flag standing and they learn about how to separate, learning how to separate out of the slavery corporate world. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're trying to catch us into this 3D reality on. Right. So we've, I've pierced through that and mm -hmm. looking at the grammar and looking at the uh, changing the birth certificates construct and giving everybody their own chance. With my system, I don't have to manage it. Everybody has the capacity to be their own sovereigns, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't have to really get involved with this. They have their own choices. I'm not going to tell people what to think. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell people what to do. They're, you know them by their fruits. You know them by what they manifest. We own, this is part of the, so for, since 2000, they had, that, they paid the, that crew $36 million. And I, I right. mean, I, and I had IMF agents that did a back, 
did like eight year studies on me. I course, took out the international. I took out the international monetary funds charters for fraud, for teaches grammar and mail yeah. fraud, and I rewrote the whole construct of what it meant to uh, loan corporations money to give it a fair playing field where they didn't have to sacrifice and put up collateral to be controlled by this fake money system. Right? It's just total nonsense. And I had yes. I've had IMF, I've had former IMF agents come up to me and just flat out say, you know, we studied you. We tried to figure out what you did. We figured out what you did. Hey, you're awesome. We thought you were this real bad guy at first, but now we've come to the conclusion that you did it for the correct reasons. You're honest, and uh, you don't really you don't care about our money at all. I says I don't care about your money system. That's not what this is all about. Nope. It has nothing to do with money. And, you know, I hear all these different influencers. Uh, don't, 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 don't you want some Babylonian money magic like every other cheap little bobble on my console? Don't you just well, want to be a little bubble on my console? Little, little, little. Dude, my <laughs> higher selves are straight, like, not from here. Like, it's like, I get the complete opposite. Like, they give me, like, is that how you want to be treated, boy? Like, shoulder pads glowing blue, like, 13, 14 feet tall. I'm like, oh, my God, what are you, What am I doing? I got, like, Liren showing up. They're like, you know, we're all watching you, right? So, like, don't embarrass. And I, I get, like, it must be nice to be able to play so da-da-da, you know? Think about it. It's kind of cute in a way. If you, if you get to play, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on. You specifically, you've got a lot of galactic aspects that are channeling through you. You've got a lot of higher level intel. Where do you think it comes from? What do you think Albert Einstein did every time he sat there and put his sat in his office like this staring at a wall? What do you think Tesla did when he turned that electricity on a million volts popping around his head? They go, who are you talking to? He's like, God. What I'm trying to get to, this content that streams through us, right? We're the messengers, oh, yeah. right? You know what I mean? And it's important in everyone else's life that because everyone has a part to play in this, right? Everyone has their own individual part. And what I like to say is that <clears throat> I consider this whole planet like a big pizza or a big apple pie. Say it's split into 12 different slices, right? You've got the quantum grammar. You've got, you've got the syntax. You've got the paper trail to hack our way out of here. That's, That's your slice true. of pizza, and you're going to eat the whole dang piece. That's Each why of, I stay. That's hey, why I stay. Everybody, hey, listen, if everyone stays in their lane, but this is what I say about everyone having their own slice of pizza or slice of apple pie. If that is your slice of freeing a planet, is that, a, is that a, if that is your slice of sovereignty, peace, prosperity for thousands of years to come, you yeah. eat that whole damn piece and you kick its ass. You don't try to do the whole pizza or the whole pie. You go, this is my slice. I shall be successful in my mission. Oh, yeah. You, you, you know what you, I mean? If you look at SARS and all the different things there, it's supposed to yeah. stuff, right? You know, th those things were all built into my galactic constructs, for sure. Mm -hmm. right? But I built all that back in 2009. And uh, that, that was a whole different uh, paradox, right? Because we're moving at that point out of what we call Earth space banking, out of the birth certificate system with our claim of the light. And we're basically identifying our cargo and our business construct uh, through a uh, uh, your own porthole, right? Because mm -hmm. this is this is this is poor. It, this is true. When the NSA pulled me off the streets when I published my periodic table right. in the Department of Defense, do you know how they identified me? They identified me, they said these three phrases to me. Oh, or this, they say they that said, again? They, they said these three phrases to me. They said, porthole man. They believe that came through, through a porthole. Right? Yeah. They go, porthole man. They said, Nikola Tesla. Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, you can't be killed. They said you have taken over the world financial system and jerked the capacity to operate currencies away from everyone. Good luck keeping it. Everyone's going to try to steal it. Mm -hmm. And I and I did, and I just looked at them. I'm like, okay. And I thought a lot about that portal because at the time I was dealing with the my periodic tables and I was doing a lot of what we call uh, unified field concepts of por opening portholes for teage when I was court-martialing the pento pentagon, and the right. pentagon right? And right. so I was in porthole conveyances in my banking construct on my cargoes on my business lighting. 
What that means is that I had created a map interface to where I had my own the Native Americans. I was a star journey. I was a star map. I was creating my own lineage of my own mm-hmm. portal, my own dynasty. Look, he, 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 Kachinas, you know, a, a, all the Native Americans out there, if you like Kachinas, yes. you like star people, yes. you like, uh, you know, another thing too specifically about, guys, see, oh, the word is untouchable. So when they say porthole, man, let me tell you the real word. When we were cleaning up stuff around the earth and I've had guns on me in other right. countries, I've had, you know, didn't speak the language guns on me. There's something about, so this is a little insight I shall share with you, porthole, portal man. Okay, sure. check this out. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to make the final cut. Okay, listen. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna share some things with you for all these guys that don't really know what's going on. So when my, uh, I was trying to express some things and a lot of the stuff I had to do. So it's, it's funny. We both have different schools of education. And how we came to this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mine was cleaning up old battlefields and seeing things from a long time ago and dealing with old de- deities, old thought forms, old gods, old piss off warriors, right? Still marching around in a dimension thinking that they're still alive. Like a lot, the spirit world, let's just call it, right? So the main thing about that, specifically with our job set, is the culmination of us being here designed to be here as you well know you specifically the design for us to be here and here's the thing that's kind of interesting for a lot of us at 23 years old if they dumped because what happens is you're going to break your belief system okay if they crack your belief system of who you think you are there's an issue with that so at 23 years old if you knew what you knew now which is a lot more calm state imagine you were on a roller coaster you knew you were doing the right thing yeah right you knew you were doing the right thing. Here's the emotional stability that they watch us like hawks is how much content can we broadcast through this vessel as a quote unquote galactic emissary messenger, children of God, creator, source. How much juice can we put through this vessel without them going off the rails? Because we've seen in our spiritual community, right? We've seen in the truth or community, right? What can happen when you get off that purpose sidewalk, when you're walking in your purpose, here comes distractions from everyone. Here comes offers from everyone. And I, like I'd say to you with being an untouchable is this, when your aspects are higher selves and higher dimensions, clear the way for you. So what does that mean? That means in the fourth dimension, can't be touched, fifth dimension can't be touched, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way up your stream. What happens is when they were showing me how they manipulate or change the matrix, you ever been in the car and it's supposed to be bumper to bumper traffic? You get in the car and there's no one on the road. You ever okay, listen, they do it all the time. Oh, let me tell you. Yeah, they do it all the time. Go ahead. The last thing they said, I had a four hour meeting with them in that meeting about what I had done in the banking and mm-hmm. what I was doing with the court marshaling. And the last thing I said it was there are people and other, or there are things in other dimensions that are helping you that you'll never meet. You yeah. have a good, you have a good heart. You, yeah. have, you, you have a good heart. That's what they say. You have a good heart. You, you've made the, you've made the choice. Yes. And so when you make that choice, it doesn't matter how many nefarious people we see out here trying to steal it or trying to, none of that matters. Mm-hmm. What matters is, is that the volition of why I'm doing it to give to the people of planet Earth and to give to the entities of, of, of the, the galactic functions, because that's what it is. You know, when you look at the radionics and all the scalar tech, right. not even go there. but when you look at that, it's, 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 it's a, and I'm just going to say thank you to all those things that have given me the chance to manifest appreciation. Oh, yes, yeah, much. Much thanks. Yes. So it's beyond me. That's what I was talking about earlier. It's beyond me. Mm-hmm. It's beyond what I've created. But what I've created is a system that we can claim our own lives, move our own spirit vessels into this sovereign vessel and create, move us out of that tangible slave system of the person. Mm-hmm. And that's why, you know, and I do charge a little, you know, for the claim of the life. Because it's, it's called the fee for freight for the bill. Uh, energy exchange. 
listen, you know what I mean? That's yeah. all it is. And you know, a lot of people have a hard time with that. Here's the deal. What you've gone through, the knowledge that you have ascertained, yeah. the experience to be able to deliver the information in a way that someone just stepping into the room who's never heard any of this stuff, the energy exchange to be able to translate for someone else to easily absorb, that's the mastery. Right. Mastery is not teaching a bunch of quantum physicists, PhDs with a 500 page book about quantum mechanics. No, you know what a master is? Teaching a bunch of fourth graders with a banana, an apple and an orange and teaching them quantum mechanics. That's a master. You yeah. know what I mean? In 2000, in the year 2001, I took mm -hmm. a gentleman, I'm not going to say his name, in federal courts in Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And he had an IQ of 60. The mother and father were brother and sister, and he was in bed. Mm -hmm. And he was very low IQ, IQ. But I took him up against the federal judiciary. He had a heart. And he, yeah. he, he followed his heart, right? He didn't. It wasn't about the brains of what a person was. Mm -hmm. It was about the heart of who this guy was on the inside. Right. And, then, and he believed me. And he, 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 he stuck to it. And he, won, and he won his case. Very difficult. And he walked through like three federal judges, right? And it was a, I mean, they got physical with him, but he had the courage of his heart and said, you know, the prepositional phrase that it does make a fact. I, 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 be, I, be, I, I believe it. And they couldn't change his thinking no matter how hard they tried. They ended up withdrawing and dismissing all charges against the guy. But I believe, you're exactly right. It's not about the intelligence of who a person is. Nope. It's about what's on the inside. And do they have the courage to, to make the choice of through comprehension that they're doing the right thing for themselves and the right thing for mankind? And once Absolutely. They, but once, they, once they become cognizant of that, I don't really care about how smart someone is or how smart someone isn't. It's mm -hmm. not my job. I'm not going to judge that. I want my fellow mankind. I want them to know that, hey, man. If you're without food, or let me be the first to tell you I've been without food. I don't want you to be without food. I've built a minor monetary system that we're, we, there's, there's an abundance. There's no there's no shortage of food. No, we don't have the stupidness of the green deals. No, no, that technology, archaic. We need to get that out of the thing. We had a system here with fossil fuels. Yes, the scientists of the world have been held down with the boot on their neck. Yes, DARPA and everybody, they are so far ahead of us technology wise because they have the technology because they've stolen the technology i get it but they're only if they think that they're going to be on the in club what's really cool about the military one of the cool things i learned mm -hmm. about the military being in court martial in the pentagon and going through right the, I went through, the military when the generals become a certain age they roll their own generals under the bus and run them over Right, which means that they'll stick the IRS on them. They'll set, they'll, they'll, they'll set up fake charges against these generals, mm -hmm. and they'll make sure that they don't receive the benefits that they were the security to move around the world when they were a younger man. You generals out there that are mm -hmm. thwarting the citizens of planet Earth, thinking that it's really cool and you've got a real cool position. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Your own kind gonna stab you in the back. It's right. a guarantee. Guarantee. So I, I, I like it. I, those are things we know. This, this is this is proven time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. So as we as we as we look at that, hopefully the generals that watch this and the admirals that watch this worldwide will then take a look at themselves and go, "Hey, do I really want to be a part of that? Do I really want to be a part of thumbing down the people of the world, causing starvation, depopulating the world? Heck, they already got a bunch of them with the vaccines. I don't even want to get into all that." Yeah, I mean, I got, I got some information to share with that, too. So sure. let's go back to uh, the Majestic 12. Oh. Let's, let's go back to, see, my thing is, is, as a time jumper, wherever, whatever time we're really from, bro. So let's kind of bring this whole thing full 360. Yeah. So with some of the information in these high-level dudes, we all know that these jackasses were trading technology based on certain things and uh, treaties with the Greys, late 40s, early 50s. We know that there were certain groups that arrived here. We know that there were certain groups already here. Yes. Some of the things that have been taking place, you know, with the draconian corporate structure, we understand where they got the pyramid idea, how a very small group could control a whole group. It's yeah. not rocket science. No. Here's the thing. The polarity game is real. Yeah. 
I've seen many beings that choose this, you know, I want to be a hardcore bad guy. I want to do this stuff. I want to whack a bunch of people. Let me, let me explain to you how the light side deals with a bunch of beings that want to play whack-a-mole in, in this dimension or density. So <laughs> make it real simple. So basically as you go up and I'll insert this image for you in this duality game, I know for me personally, my, Imagine the sternum's right here. I make a V. My, th my third eye's been on now for 13, 14 years working down here. My light side's on my left. My heart side in this polarity game. My night side is on my right. When you get the boop in your right ear equals no. Or someone's trying to hack your field. You get the boop in your left ear. It usually means yes or calm down, right? when your angels want to help with what i'm getting to with this level of game is that what the beings don't see there are beings on this planet in this polarization game that actually want your soul they're playing poker for your soul yes sir. and what these generals don't understand is and some of these guys in the military that think this whole spiritual thing is a game listen I don't care what vocabulary term you want to give it. I don't care what name you want to give it. What I can tell you is that a cause and effect is a real universal law. So what I'm trying to say is if you cause a certain level of distraction, distortion, or chaos anywhere in this universe, there will be something that eventually shows up to balanced said, unsaid, unbalanced. There are beings that have already graduated this dumb, dumb level of whatever you want to call this down here, right? That oversee this stuff. And in, even in your own right, in the fourth dimension, you know, for me, 3D, 4D is on the right. It's the closest dimension to us. That's why that Hollywood Knights and the ego is so close to our face. You go up one level, you're on the fifth dimension, a little more difficult to get to, heart space. What I'm getting to is some of these generals, to make it on the night side, they got to do a 4D to 6D jump. Here's the problem. If you are a vessel and you're working on your ascension game and your fourth dimensional version is not in ascension school, right? you're never going to graduate into that higher level. Because think about it, if we're polarized right now, and say our 3Ds, me and you and our inner children, we're like, we want to go back to 5D. I want to go hang out with Yeshua. I want to go flex. I want to go chill, right? That's where we. That's who we really are. But when we switch, just like you just switched, right? I switch all the time. I said, those generals are down to their functions as a postal construct. Mm -hmm. And as a postal construct corporate entity, you need to really take a serious look at what I have created yes. to benefit them, their families, and their and the ones that are underneath them. And it's not about war; it's about communication. You want to knock? Let's oh. knock these out. Hey, hey, hey! I'm prepared. I just wanted to, I wanted to talk to you about like the real motivation for 80% of the stuff that you have to process and deal with. And I'm trying to show a little bit of an inclination of our creator only would have chosen you as one of the strongest dudes. Hey, listen, look, 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 this isn't even about the video. You need to know something. Yeah. What you're doing is changing the world. Oh, for sure. What you're doing and see some people don't send gratitude like they should. No, they don't. I think, bro, I if, love you. If I, told, if I told bro, you, there's been some huge, you know, sacrifices that have hurt my heart. Yeah, my it hurts. And it makes us not want to share. It makes us want to shut down. It makes us to not want to believe in the reality we know we all deserve. And brother, I'm right there with you. That's why I'm doing my workshops now for people. I'm yeah. Going to up in December. Uh, or no, in December, but August uh, 20th and 21st in Denver. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just giving people a chance to interact with those that within my network and then interact with me and ask questions. And, you know, those things, people don't comprehend the magnitude of what I've done. I mean, it's massive in scope. Huge. And maybe, maybe I don't even look at it from that perspective because I'm just a, a simple single guy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What are you trying to say? You're on the market? Is, is no, this no, an no, exclusive? No, no, no. What are you, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. This is not that type of video. 
But I mean, you know, you know, I'm just kidding. And what I did. Yes, I yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly content. My Look, you, I'm purposely pulling our frequency up. By the way, I I have method to my 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 kung fu. I have okay. kung. I I'm doing that. kung fu. Okay, I'm kung fu. Okay, okay, I know. Okay, explain the quantum grammar and how a grammar can be safeguard to people or planet. Bang. Okay, so the quantum grammar um, uses prepositional phrase language. It has a a, co a cause, a consequence, a verb of thinking, and a possession and authority behind it. It's a, it's a balanced sentence. Mm -hmm. It's harnessed. It doesn't speak in future tense or past tense. All the words and facts, all the prepositions are in a now space scenario. The value of that is if in a now space situation, we now can look at the facts and preset them as a fact to look to, to make a determination on these facts were created and the creation of the facts, was that used for good or was mm -hmm. that used for bad? On the flip side, we also have a syntax key code that places values on words on order of operation. Just mm -hmm. as I use punctuation in my name, just as there's punctuation in time mm -hmm. on your screen, if you were to take that punctuation out, you would create a subjective interpretation state. Mm -hmm. uh, Leon, what's subjective interpretation in your world? What is, what is that to you? I have a question for you. What What is subjective interpretation to you? What does that mean in 30 seconds? S subject of interpretation to me, subject interpretation. So I guess subject being what are we looking at? I mean, if we're talking about an, ab an apple, right? Oh, it could be, a, but that could be in your opinion because the apple could be various shades of red. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so you have a brand name. This is what it is. Now, how many? Okay, you know what? I, this is, I like, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. Water. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Water. Okay. Well, what type of water are we talking about? We talk uh -huh. about seawater, salt water, lake water, tap water, <laughs> filtered water, RO water. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so for me, go ahead. So, this, so the, so, I'm looking at, of course, the structure of the water, right? What mm -hmm. angle the water's on. And so we preset that in the fact so that everybody's on the same page mm -hmm. on what angle or what mm -hmm. structure the water is in. Has it been programmed? Has it gone through some kind of scalar technology? As you know, you can take water with this. With what phase? With what phase of water? There's four phases, oh, if not more. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So as that evaporation points and a pH and all that, all that is also included. So we're getting out of the subjective interpretation and we're looking, placing a value fact. On, on what facts are. Mm -hmm. Now we can make a determination on was the fact used in the water to create um, quench of thirst or was it used to bring nourishment to the body or to bring oxygenation to the cells? How are we looking at that use of water? And so we use prepositional phrase language and structure to look at a procedure on identifying what the value of that dried off vessel water is being structured for. Mm -hmm. At that point, now we take out the capacity for others to argue about, hey, the water was used for vapor, for absorption of, X, of, y, of, Z. of mm -hmm. whatever, whatever we want to articulate. Then we allow others to join with that. Upon joining with that, that's where the becoming a tenant of the postal construct that I've designed, <coughs> excuse me, comes into place. Mm -hmm. And what that means is now people can now interact together mm -hmm. and communicate between languages to lose no deviation in our sentence structure, which means that we can write from English to Russian, Russian to Chinese, Chinese to Far Farsi, uh, Farsi Arabic, and I use correct communication in a function that we can all get along. We can all agree because some words don't match up in different languages, as you know. Yeah, I know. This is, this is only good for contract, right? Because right. contracts only is good in a in a perfect scenario. The hieroglyphic of your word would to be the bond, and people would perform to that. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it caught us in these lies. It caught us in this birth certificate system, and upon doing so, have struck us into this corporate straw man that we have now found a way where I've created a path out of that straw man with the disqualification of the Universal Postal Union by myself in 2001. Now, there are many that have come in after the fact, of course, contacting the Postal Union, and the Postal Union gaslights them, 
<laughs> look, 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 I'm like your, I'm, I'm like your hostess. I'm like your manager. I'm like your care. I'm like get a little water. It's a yeah. lot of content. Let's let, take it. So okay, so fire in the sky. Okay, you're crushing. By the way, I, I want to make sure I get everything that. Hey, there's a lot of stuff on this list that you've already kind of covered. Um, we are all sovereign, are we not? Yes. But when they, you go to put yourself in the corporate world, mm -hmm. then you trespass on usuries. And so you have to know where you're at in time and space on mm -hmm. your usuries to position yourself into your sovereign location. Mm -hmm. This is where using the claim of a life now gives you a value mm -hmm. to identify yourself as a fact, not allow others to engage in subjective interpretation on who you are, and allow you as the fact to now direct your equity, your assets that you have in usury, such as your bank accounts mm -hmm. or your child in school or your doctor, how you go to a doctor's office. And you now identify the terms in your sovereign state mm -hmm. on how you choose others to <coughs> excuse me, join the contract. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, uh, hopefully that helps. No, I got you. Okay. One of the things I that I was most impressed, there's a lot of impressionable things. Look, there's a lot of, bro. Yeah. The, one of the most impressive things that you ever did. Can you talk about, uh, you know, I, I always call it chemistry time. Talk, talk about the new periodic table. Like, because my whole thing is like, from that place of pure genius, you extracted so much from being able to break things down. I know this is a bit, that's a big one, but I'm just trying to say for people that is, are paying, like first time ever watching this, who's this, my brother, Russell? Bro, created literally, <laughs> let, let, let's do a bullet point, go, number one. My brother created a new periodic table, number one. Number two, he basically held out and basically freed us from this whole, crazy dark agenda taking place on earth saved america's arse did you not oh for sure not yeah yeah did you not i mean like this is, everyone wants to talk 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 in the present time like let's talk about the, the the things that you have done to help humanity all right now so listen the, the to everyone this is not the norm do not view or judge yourself by what mr russell chief has done okay because you 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 put the bar pretty high bro you put the bar. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I just didn't even tell you. You put the bar pretty high. Well, I, 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 I was studying celestial movements and celestial right. bodies that was taking me into mm -hmm. the chemistry of folding folding space, mm -hmm. and that took me into you know different you know instead of years they would have SARS under the Golden Rule. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of different things. I don't really want to get into the semantics. No, part. I know, I know. But what it did do was piqued my 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 interest my my expansion of my knowledge mm. into chemistry and i spent years and years breaking down melting points specific gravity of mm. molecular matter specifically based around magnetism primer fields and the manipulation of molecular structure mm. i put a positive spin on the electron outside shell of electron shells Mm -hmm. to make everything a positive performance because in the now space what do i want to be i want to be i want to be positive i want to yeah. be a performer i want to be a creator for my fellow mankind for myself number one it makes me feel good inside if i'm giving that makes me feel good because i know that that give just comes right back it hits me right in the back there's nothing i can just it's affinity loop out here once we realize that we're in a we're in affinity loop of this space and you can create and be a manifesting generator in your now space forever. Once you once you become cognizant of that, then I became cognizant of that I need to comprehend this, this sub, the matter of the molecular structure. Mm. And so I got into the grammar in the identification of elect, elect elements, what they call elements, right. like atomic matter, dealing with uh, anything from 33 atom clusters to re moving back to four, four ninths density mass. All mm. kinds of stuff, right? I mean, just lots of lots of real cool stuff. But <clears throat> the periodic tables were all on planet Earth when we were taught in elementary school and in high school, junior high. They were they taught us that the periodic tables in a box, 
But in all styles manuals for all countries on planet Earth, they have what's called it, governments have called a federal styles manual. And in that federal styles manual is what's called the law of boxing. Anything in a box is not within the box. Mm. That's why we put judges in judges boxes and juries in jury boxes. Mm. So we, the people, don't have to listen to anything they say. Right? But we have to know the tricks when we go to that world. But on written contract, if anything's in the four corner or has a, a box around it, there's actually technically nothing in there. So mm. my question, Rion, is what did they teach us if there's nothing in the box? And so upon doing that, I took things out of the box and I put it into the strongest molecular structure, which was triangles on tetrahedrons on trilateral. Yeah, te tetrahedron, the building block of the universe, yes. The building, and so I put all my molecular structure. And some of the things I found that if I bombarded like Einsteinium and Berkelium and what we see in CERN, what they're doing is bombarding electrons and protons to create new matter, right? Or open mm -hmm. up and refold space. Those things weren't natural matter within our paradigm of our 3D dimension. Mm -hmm. And there's no such thing, you know, as, as rare earths, right? And so just keep that in mind. Rare earths are everywhere. Yes. Right? There's, there's just what isn't everywhere is the Chinese, the U.S. government sold that away all the technology and the capacity for the entrepreneurship of the American ingenuity to have our hands on like atomic needles and, and different material matter to create rare earth matter. And so they cornered the market, the Chinese, the Israelis, and the Russians cornered the market on the physical tools that we use in this dimension to mm -hmm. manifest and create rare earths. I could take strontium and some of these other things. Well, I, I mean, I know inside of a, of a, when you have a high revolutions in some of these drives that they use on some of these uh, spacecraft, it creates monoatomic gold okay. when you actually just turn it on. Yeah, inside the, so you have a huge torus field spinning at 15,000, 100,000 RPM. Inside the walls of that electromagnetic vacuum, inside the walls, there becomes a paste of monoatomic gold. So what yeah. I'm saying to say, some of these technologies create some of these rare... Are they rare? No, they're not. Rare. Are they rare? You know what I mean? They're, like they're not rare. What they are is just unseen to to most people that are carrying on their day to day lives. Absolutely. And the fundamentals of tricking us that there's a stock market that controls what value. All the stocks are owned by one company. Yes. You know this. Every oh, yeah. single stock. That has ever been traded is still well, owned by not, one company. Not, not anymore because I sent text their charters and they're a project. Did you? Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what's up. They, you chop, they know you, you, you chop them up, bro? Oh, let me tell you. I caught, not only did I chop them out, but I cussed them out while I did it. Pardon me. It, it, I, listen. Li I listen. I think I, this is a therapy session. Of how to catch more bees with honey. <laughs> you know, yeah, just, sure. No, no. I'm telling you because, listen, there's a lot of stuff that we both know. There's a lot of stuff that I can't say that I know. There's a lot of stuff about the timeline and what's going to happen. What I can say between me and you is this. What is the greatest way for us to have the maximum effect with all of our friends and family to get them on the right path, going in the right direction, to raise their frequency? Because here's the thing about knowing sometimes. Sometimes when time. you know, it, you may jump into that negative polarity because you start to see what the other side has done to us. And yeah, that's the yeah. trap. You Is won't let you, it's a trap. Yeah. You're like, you, if you go revenge, anger, resentment, get them. If you do this, guess what you're doing? You're just pulling yourself into that negative polarity until that reality becomes yours. And that's what all the spiritual teachings are. It's like, raise your frequency, walk above and, and, it. And you're like, you know, go ahead. Believe it or not, that's what the 13th families try to do to me. And I just, yeah. I just keep, I just keep sidestepping, 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 uh, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming through the years, and and so I just, I just augment that, and I like I told them, it's already been backdropped. It's already backdropped. It's already been backdrop scenario. They're not part of the new of this paradigm of the now space. They're off. They, the really cool thing in our dimension, in our space now, is we get to watch them all implode and die within the, themselves. They're going to kill themselves. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, But we don't even have to watch it because we're going to be moving so far beyond it yeah. as it's happening. We won't even... It's already happened. Just the general public hasn't... They can't conceptualize it in their minds yet. But as they start to conceptualize it in their minds, they'll find themselves creating their own entrepreneurships, their own 
their own monetary systems, their own mm -hmm. trade systems. And that's what the quantum grammar and the quantum system that I've built is that designed to do is free the people to create their own paradoxes. You mean like real sovereignty? I can't believe it. You know what I mean? Like that's really what this is. Like, hey, do you know what it really looks yeah. like to be, have it on paper? So this is what my guides were when I was meditating this morning. Can kind of wrap this up with us. How do we take your brother's insights, gifts, knowledge that he has, not only experienced in this dimension, but how do we make that work for every single human being on earth? How can we put this in a template form? How, when you guys are doing cities in the future for humanitarian projects, how, when you guys get certain projects going on Indian reservations, right? How do we make these things bulletproof? How do we make these things untouchable? How do we take our subject and interpretation to an untouchable, unmovable facility object creation that will hold stand, will hold strong throughout eons of time since it was created in a quantum grammar function? So, hey, hey, sorry, I had to channel that. I, I came down and you're, 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 I, look, 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 that, look, 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 so, Listen, I know, I know. Everyone around you may not know, but I know. So listen, I got it. What I'm trying to say is this. I get it, I know. They're like, you got to work with your brother. I'm like, because here's my thing. We all have different pieces of this apple pie, right? You've got your slice of, slice of pie. I'm like, I need land. I have diagrams. I have designs. I know how to do certain things that I'm not going to talk about here, right? I've been downloaded just like you were downloaded. So here's my thing. How do we get everyone? And like I said, I know you have courses. I know yes. you're teaching this. Yes. My thing is that, you know, I'm going to fast forward this process for some of us because I'm, you know, in this generation, they're like, if I can't click on it with my thumb, <laughs> no disrespect, if I can't do some of these things, right? And we're going to put the big link up, bam, right here for how people can join you. But this is what I, I'm going to say some things to you too for everyone in the room listening. And for all the ideas, let me let me help you real quick. Listen. The template functionality of taking a 20-year-old's consciousness into a place where the structure and security of the verbiage in the now space is a universal constant to create a plug-in of assets, people, community into this Lego set that all the pieces come together, right? What does that look like? What are some of the tools that you have right now where people can not only learn this information, but in a faster moving platform too, as we all get faster, right? I know you already have some things that you know what I mean, that you're gonna, you're gonna share with me right now. What I'm getting to is me and you have the same issue. I feel like I'm, a, I feel like I'm 150, 200 years old in a 40 year old suit. Okay. I'm like old man river. I might look like this. Hey, look, you got gains. Look, look, look at that hair. Hey, look, listen, you're doing hey, good. Hey, hair? Bro, your hair is fire. What are you talking about? You, you, ha no. bro, you, you have hair. Like I, just be happy for God's oh, sake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I saw the dreadlocks. I saw, I saw, Hey, look, I saw your, pa I saw the old photos. Okay. I know. But what I'm trying to say is there's something new. That's not this. Everyone bring up the old stuff. What are we doing? We got whole population of people waking up. You have the protection mechanisms to protect them financially, on paper, structurally for their family trusts, for their for their for their humanitarian projects. You have a bulletproof way that if you follow this template, you dial it in. You have your paragraphs of change in the bullet points. Change the sentence. Change the sentence. What I'm getting to is that. Your skill set needs to be safeguarded so the younger ones who don't per se have your insights, okay? Just like me, I can go downstairs and make some stuff. They're like, where did that come from? I'm like, I don't know. I just cache engine, plasma, I hooked it to the crystal. The things just come through us. But what I'm trying to say is for everyone on earth who's going to watch this video, your brothers are here to support you, to create a structure that supports you and your freedom, your peace and your sovereignty, so you may shine your heart on this planet without fear. So that's kind of how I want to paraphrase that for you as an older brother now, even though we feel young sometimes. Oh, yeah. 
But we're the older brother of these of these young star seeds. That's really what we're doing here. So as an older brother, what are some of the ways that you can help? Can they can reach out to you? They can facilitate some things. Which which what do you have, brother? How can you help them? Well, we we have we have different groups set up right now. Postmaster mm -hmm. Basics. We have Syntex Learning Centers. Mm -hmm. We have we have we're reaching out to influencers like yourself, and mm -hmm. you can reach out to other influencers. You know you know what the circle looks like. You yeah. got to be cautious with that because we've seen a lot of these influencers out here that are you know you look on their websites and they're controlled by the CIA. And yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're having to deal with a lot of that. And a lot of these influencers put a lot of people that are in the theft mode thinking that they're stealing what I've built. So you, we're, I'm watching a lot of that going, oh, no, that, that's all backdrop. I don't, I, I don't get upset about it. I, I used to, but that was the paradigm that they wanted me to go to. They want that, you to go in that place. Yeah, and I'm not even going there. So we're building stronger. So, so Postmaster Basics, you can look up my uh, uh, Russell J. Gould Telegram channel. They, they have a uh, they links into different things. Look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go bang. I look, says, bang. Here's some links. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Yeah. So you have your Telegram link, you have your website link. Yeah, Bam. yeah, for the claim of the life .com or last, and then they can watch the documentary and the videos on last Right. Day. It's a lot to comprehend. I do get that, but it's up to it's up to the people because I'm about the people. I'm not about going into the. We day. we're master translators, my brother. So like literally, when I did pull that down for you, it's not how we conceive. How does a 20 year old with a phone in their hand who who scrolls with their thumb? How can we create something? Because And literally, if you want to know what the future is, there's smart contracts or smart agreements that are written in quantum grammar. When they apply for their bank loan, they go, bing, 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 bing. Thank you, older brother. Now, I know there's different things in being sovereign that you have to do first. I'm with that, right? Yeah, what I'm yeah. getting to for you is I, I just, brother to brother, I'm just trying to say, what do the kids need? How can a, I'm, it, it's a different thing because the kids they get what you're saying. The kids right now who went through 2020, who don't believe this bullshit, who may have lost some jibby jab, they've got, what's their real life thing? Me and you went through real life thing maybe 10, 20 years ago. They went through this real life thing where maybe their mom and their dad's not here anymore. Maybe their best friend's not here anymore. They are all making that real life or death experience right now to say what they trust and what they don't trust. So again, I just reiterate that to you as something you know, for, like I said, I'm here. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 I'm here. I'm just trying to say, I ain't going nowhere. I'm not trying to hand off a homework assignment. You already turned in your assignment and it's it, the whole damn file cabinet. I'm not saying you have to do more. Mm. What I'm trying to say, you crushed it. Okay, you crushed it. I what know. I'm trying to say is as I we know. speak out loud to the universe is, hey, we got any really high level web designers across the planet that want to take this thing to the yeah. next deal, what, what, translate what, what, in 25 languages, you know? Yeah. Yeah, at media at for the claim of the life dot com. They could get. Cool. We're looking for webmasters. We're looking there you for, go. Looking for campaign managers. You know, we'd like there to we like a couple campaign. You know, guys that are creative. Women. There's so many creative people out here. I love it. Right. I just yes. love the creativity of mankind. And it's you know it's beyond mankind. There's creativity everywhere. Yeah. It's just being able to tap into that source and making sure we're all the same heart. Because at the end of the day, once we're of that same heart and that same kindness and that same giving, the rest of it just falls in line and the synchronicity between everybody and within them. And just to reiterate what galactic law considers uh, truth, uh, every single human being on this planet is allowed to defend themselves. So I'll make it real simple. I'll make it real simple for everyone out there that wants to do any being on this planet harm. Every single human being on this planet by their divine right and birthright has the ability to defend themselves. And we shall. That may not be only what we put in our bodies, but it also be the organizations that we have been forced to participate with for the last thousand years plus. So what I'm getting to is that our divine rights shall shine once again on this planet. My brother, it's been an absolute pleasure hey, having you hey. on this. Hey, look, I'm going to put all the links up. You're fire. I Don't love you. You know what I mean? And like I say, just we got this. There, there's some good news coming out. And, you know, bulletproof, yeah. you know, there's something this you not only did you do what you had to do here and I'll tell you some real stuff. Like I know you have a lot of support around you, but I know there's been a lot of shenanigans. The strongest of us get messed with the most. Oh, yeah. And I just, I just, I, you know, like I said, I just want you to know that that's the norm. Yeah, so, yeah, every, yeah. So, so everyone out there on the planet, 
that's a real light worker, a light warrior, ask them their background story, it's like nuts. Like, I almost got taken out 10 times. I mean, just to come through this experience with you, my brother, has not only been an absolute pleasure, but I cannot wait to see the things and the future that we bring into the now moment. Hey, you know, Riona, hey, I, I want to I send a shout out to you because you, you have a heart for the people. Yes. And I, and I, and I get it. This is, yeah. this is why I will jump on your show. Hey, this, I appreciate this, that. This, 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 because of who you, how you reflect your battlefield, most mm -hmm. people can't go there, and I get that. Mm -hmm. But I am thankful that there's guys like you out there and brothers and sisters like you mm -hmm. that are taking that fight to this to this matrix. Yes. And if they need to seriously look at the quantum grammar and how it applies to their day-to-day -day function because yes. we are spirit beings trapped in this carnal dimension. Right. And the quantum banking system, the quantum postal system is hey, definitely for us. You, you, you want to know what I say sometimes? I go, hey, you little dingleberries, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. So just, hey, so, so for all these guys doing naughty things, good luck. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? So what I'm sorry to say, for I just want to leave the, the planet with yeah. that. They, there were some beings that were called in here because this place was going off the rails. And on, as above, so below. And I just want everyone to get along on this planet, not take this thing to the nines, but rather bring it back into balance. Okay, That is what us and our older brothers and sisters would like you guys to know. We're not trying to punish anybody, but your polarity will dictate the dimension that you will exist in when you're done with this one. Okay. So good luck, people. Good, good luck. luck. Come from good your luck. heart. Good, come from your heart and try to pick a higher timeline. That's all we're trying to say. I love, you, hey, I love you, brother. You have a good one. Hey, you there. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. We definitely need to do this again. Oh, for sure. And then when I'll be coming to Arizona soon. And when I come to Arizona, I'll Bro, you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hanging out. I got things to show you. We're hanging out. All right, all right. man. Peace. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hey, I know you do. I know you did. Not on here. I love you. <laughs> Have a good one, brother. Peace. Pleasure.